if you want to watch Jalen's one week update and one week postpartum for me, just keep on watching. Hey guys, so I just wanted to start off by saying that Jalen has already impacted our family so much and she has changed so much already in just a week. She is actually 10 days old, not seven. So it's been a little over a week, but um, at first she was eating more frequently, but less at a time because I would I was producing too much for her. And so like my letdown was too strong for her. So she would choke and then get discouraged. Whereas now she's getting the hang of it. And, um, and now she's eating more at a time, less frequently. Um, and then she has a good amount of diapers every day. Usually I change her straight away in the morning. Um, and it's usually full of pee and poop. And then, um, and then, and then I change her closer to noon. And then she has like, doesn't have as many diapers as I remember Jace having, but she has a good amount throughout the day. So that's all that matters as long as she has enough pee and is pooping, that's all that matters. Um, she was super jaundiced at first and now it's gone. So that's awesome. I'm super happy because um, now she's not as red and stuff and she's not yellow and it's really nice because people were always trying to freak me out about it. Um, she's so calm. She wants to sleep all the time, obviously, because she's a newborn. But when she is awake, which is around, I'm like, in the morning, so like around 9 o'clock, or like 8 o'clock-ish, or 9 till like 11, she's up. And then she's up again from like 6 or 7 till like 9, so it's really cool. And we get to really interact with her, and obviously she's up right before she eats, because I change her diaper usually right before she eats, each feeding. And so... Um, I get a little bit of interaction with her right before she eats, so it's really cool. She usually falls asleep pretty quickly on the poop, um, or nursing, I should say. Uh, she is starting to coo. She is, like, she'll look at you and she'll just, like, make these silly noises. It's super cute, and I don't know why she's doing it so early, but she needs to slow down. Also, yesterday, she was laying on the floor. I had to put her down on the floor to move some stuff for the kids did like play chase behind the couches even though they shouldn't and <laughs> and I laid her down on her side on her it would have been her right side and she I looked back literally like 20 seconds later probably and she was on her other side completely and it's like quick slow down why you got to do these kind of things already um she loves to stare at her brother and sister when she is up and she's always kind of like giving them really funny looks because they always do crazy things um as awesome siblings do and then um she loves this little rocker thing which is awesome because i can put her in here um today is actually my first day with all three of the kids by myself so it's actually going pretty good other than the fact that my son you can probably hear him right now. He doesn't want to take a nap, so. <laughs> um, I'm also doing a video of the first day with all three kids by myself video on top of this one today. So, um, uh, Jordan and Jace love to hold her, but right now they are six, so it's gotten to the point where I can't have them hold her and it makes my heart break because I don't want to like make them jealous of her because they are sick and they shouldn't be close to her even though she's sick now too she was like she woke up a bunch last night um just wanting to nurse every like 10 minutes because her throat was hurting so bad um and they're both sick and now I'm sick I have a little bit of a strep throat or sore throat um, and it, it just sucks because I don't like saying that they can't be around her, you know, just 
I don't know, I don't want them to have like sibling rivalry before because of it. Um, Jalen also is doing really good on starting to hold her head up. It's awesome. And then um, I weighed her on the 26th because it had been since like four days before that or something. So at birth she was six pounds, seven ounces. And then three days after she was born, she was 6.9 pounds. And on the 26th, she was 7.4 pounds. So she's gaining weight, even though it's only a couple ounces. Um, it still makes a breastfeeding mom feel better and know that she's growing. Um, she's still, a lot of her newborn clothes are still really loose on her, but... The onesies, my favorite onesies of hers actually are tight. Um, she really looks like my husband and her sister, Jordan. Um, but she also looks like Jace in a lot of pictures. But in person, she looks so much like my husband. It's unreal. Her blondish hair, her dirty blonde hair, and just her nose and just all of her features. She just looks so much like her dad, but she also looks a lot like Jordan. So we'll see. And she has gray eyes right now, grayish blue. And that's exactly how Jordan's were when she was a baby. And they didn't turn completely blue until she was two months old. Um, and they've stayed that way. Now they're dark blue and they have like a dark, a darker, like outer, um, on the edge and then um, it gets lighter in the middle it's really cool and my husband has really really blue eyes so we'll see if she gets to stay with her blue eyes that's all my husband wants is blue eyes um, now for postpartum for me um, TMI excuse my son <laughs> Um, I am still mildly bleeding, mostly at night. Um, I think I'm exerting myself a little much just because having three kids, it kind of, kind of have to, and I have to clean up my house and stuff. It's just priorities, I guess. Um, and then, um, I have been getting engorged just because well, at first I was getting engorged, so I was pumping a bunch, um, which is good because my husband thinks I should sell my breast milk or donate my breast milk because I produce a really good amount of breast milk. Um, and then, um, I've lost a lot of weight. My appointment on last Tuesday, which would have been like four days postpartum or something, um, well, Friday. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, yeah, four days, um, and I had already lost 10 pounds, or 9 pounds, and I've continued to shed weight like no other, just water weight, really, and, like, my belly has gone down a lot, I'm actually starting to feel a lot better about myself, um, I obviously have a lot to go before I'm comfortable, but I'm pretty satisfied for being... 10 days postpartum and I look great I think um I feel great uh I've gotten my patience back somewhat <laughs> um but anyways <laughs> so I will show you my belly postpartum and then I'll let you meet Jadalyn or let you see Jadalyn so this is my belly That's my belly. Excuse my son. I should go get him. I feel bad, but he is being a little bugger today. So, anyways, here's Miss Jadenin. This is her outfit of the day. She's just the sweetest little thing. <laughs> this is Miss Jadenin. She's sleeping, of course. Oh, careful. 
she's stretching. She just is such a good breastfeeder and she's so good at being a baby, <laughs> doing her job, making everybody happy. She has the cutest little toes. She has long feet. She's so sweet. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will continue to make updates. Um, her two week, three week and on um, just postpartum and whatnot for my sake and hopefully it, it, it brings attention to my channel because I'd really love to really um, build my relationships with people on YouTube and just get myself out there more. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give a big thumbs up if you'd like to see more of these. And yeah, I will link down below my day in the life as well. So yeah, anyways, have a good day. Jalen also smiles in her sleep. She started that on the 21st. And she also makes a lot of fo new faces in her sleep as well. It's really fun to watch and try to take pictures and my husband and I actually had a little competition to see who could um, take the first picture of her smiling and of course he won, but it's so funny when she makes faces in her sleep.